Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Wanted to do a video for you today on my truck loadout. I uh, also want to explain to you that I'm not a contractor that drives from job site to job site and I'm far away from extra supplies or things like that. So my truck loadout might be a little different than someone who has to have a lot of different things with them at every job site because it's not feasible for them to continually drive to a store or back to their house to get things. Or tools that they might use less frequently I'm a person who typically works within one area and then every now and then I might go outside of that so I use this truck it's my own personal truck all these tools everything that's in here is my own personal supplies I use this at the main place where I work which is a campus with several buildings so I might drive my truck to a building so that I've got these tools that I'm going to show you here accessible easily if I don't walk there with just my TP4B. I also do side work uh, for people, so this would be a case where I would use this for that, or I do my own personal work. Uh, but it, it's a way to have extra tools close by if I need them, uh, and then also maybe some general supplies close by if I need them. So I have a F-150 Super Cab. Uh, it's not a Super Crew. The Super Crew has the four individual doors uh, the super cab has four doors, but they open to where the whole side opens up and so on my driver's side And I chose to do this on the driver's side for two reasons One is that this is the side of the truck I'm obviously going to get out of so I want the tools on this side that I'm going to grab most likely uh, So I keep my hand tools my two video veto bags. I use the most is my TP4B and my MCT I have a loadout video of the TP4B if you want to watch that and I'm probably going to be shooting an MCT video uh, fairly soon if that's something y'all are interested in let me know in the comments below and then I keep my MP1 which is what I use for if I'm doing repetitive work with certain tools and my installation driver is the it's the drill that I like to use the most I guess it seems like I really like the M12 surge I keep that in my MCT uh, so it's between those two they're they're probably my favorite and then in the middle i have a compact pack out toolbox and then that's a slim organizer on the top with some wall anchors but i just stack stuff on that compact toolbox for certain jobs whatever it is i'm going to do i pull those either out of my office or out of my garage whatever type of job i'm going to i keep these in a pack out crate so that i can easily just pull out this whole crate with these bags in it stick them in my garage stick them in my office fold this seat down I can now fit two people in my truck if I need to so on this side again I just try to keep the stuff that I use most likely most frequently I keep those handy on this side so that I can easily access them pull them out as I get out of the truck and I don't have to walk around the truck to find things uh, and I think that works out well for me let's go over and take a look at the passenger side the passenger side uh, opens up the same way passenger side's a little bit of a work in progress i'm going to explain that to you as i go but on this side i keep a pack out system uh, in the door i keep ex extra rags and then different styles of gloves these are the gloves i don't use as often like a pair of leather gloves a pair of demolition gloves and then it's a cut level uh, the winter gloves of milwaukee a little bit warmer for if it's cold outside uh, i keep my m12 heated hoodie I just got this I've worn it a couple times so far I seem to like it and then uh, I keep a clean hat and a clean beanie for if I'm going to meet somebody to look at something I can look presentable and then tucked back in here I also keep extra rags that I refill my door with uh, down on the bottom I keep the vinyl gloves those are the venoms I like those the best and then some cut level one Milwaukee gloves those are my everyday gloves uh, I wear those constantly they're my favorite one so far I can still feel everything that I do in my hands while wearing those uh, they're not bulky and they seem to protect really well here I have different driver bits and drill bits uh, I keep these just in there. I had this little space that I had to make, and then I keep a charger back in the back. I'm not going to go through, you know, every drill bit or anything like that. If you if you see anything that you'd like to see more of, uh, just let me know. But I'm just kind of trying to show you how my truck is set up for facilities maintenance primarily, and then again, it's also personal work and things of that nature. 
uh, I have the three drawer pack out and on top of that I keep different organizers again e easily interchangeable if I need to but uh, like here is wire nuts wagos I have crimp connectors here uh, this one is the regular style organizer I took all the dividers out of it and I just use it as an open thing on the top I leave this undone and this is where I just throw loose stuff and then later as the day ends I might pull those out and put them where they go and then I keep a full-size slim organizer underneath all of them with different fasteners in there uh, just in case you know you, you're somewhere and you need that one type of fastener I try to keep some for concrete some for metal some for wood all different ones in here uh, that way I have a few on my truck with me at all times and hopefully won't have to run to the store just to buy, you know, a couple screws. And then in the drawers, I have, this is the work in progress primarily. Uh, down here at the bottom, I made this box so that I could get my drawers above where I took the seat out. I took this one individual seat out and then there's a, a bump right here that I had to build that up so i built this temporarily this is going to end up looking better than this in the long term but i i've been trying this out for probably i guess a couple months now just to make sure that it's how i like it before i spend a lot of time making something really nice with that and all these drawers i basically put in just things that i might would need on a regular basis and the reason why this is mainly a work in progress you buy this drawer system they only give you a set of dividers to fill one drawer with, which I think is kind of, you know, crappy, but they're sold out everywhere. You can't find the three drawer dividers anywhere. I think they're supposed to maybe come back in stock sometime in January. So once I get those, I'll be able to really do what I want to do with these three drawers. But in this drawer, I keep batteries. Uh, I have my M12, the bigger and the smaller batteries. I have a Bosch 6 amp 12 volt battery for my planer. Here I keep the extra heads for my installation driver in case I run into a situation where I need an offset right angle or I have a drill bit that I have to have a chuck for. I keep my rover light, a couple tape measures, and then this is just loose hand tools. Here's the crimpers to work with the crimp connectors I have up here. I have some hex keys. Uh, some different extra nipics, some ratchet cutters, just tools that I don't want to waste spot in my bag and have to tote them around because it's like it's not very often I might would need some of these. And if I do, they're not very far away from me. I'll just walk outside and get them, but I don't want to pack them every single day. And then in the bottom down here, I just keep quick access tools and some M18 batteries. This is my M18 Surge, M18 Hammer Drill if I need more power. I can come out here and just grab these real fast. Uh, M8 or M12 right angle impact. I just got this a little bit ago. It was on sale. I picked it up because it was on sale, and that gives me an option if I need to get into some tight space. And then I keep the old M12 oscillating tool in here. I have the fuel version. You'll see that in a minute. But I actually I like the control of this old one better. I wish that the tool change was the same as the new one, but I really like this one. But basically, if I need to make a quick small cut or if I need to be able to get into a spot or need more power, I can just grab these quickly without getting into what I'm going to show you next, which is my deck system in my bed of my truck. So now let's go back to the back and take a look at that. So now in the bed of my truck, I have what is the decked system. Uh, it's this company right here. I don't know if you can see that well. Uh, I left the top down for a second to show you purposefully something. Uh, on my, I also have a hardcover trifold top. And I just wanted to show you that even with this in there, I still have quite a bit of room between my cover and this. Uh, you don't have to have a cover with this deck system. It is supposedly waterproof. Uh, They've even showed on the videos, if you go watch it on their website, somebody with a pressure washer on top of it, shooting a pressure washer at it, and no water gets into the drawers. But I wanted to show you that I, I keep a four-foot ladder in here, and then also whatever else. You know, I may go pick up flooring. I may go pick up whatever. or I can put different organizers in here, different tools. But I've got a miter saw stand, and I don't keep this in here. I just put this in here so you can see. And I also have, it's a Porter Cable foldable miter saw, but I've got the stand attachments on it. And that still fits in there. So now I can drive somewhere in inclement weather 
and even take a miter saw and a miter saw stand with me and I don't have to worry about that saw getting rained on the whole time and no one can see it it's up and under uh, my cover so I'm gonna fold back the cover real fast and, and then uh, I'll get back with you but I'm gonna pause it because it's gonna be hard for me to do one-handed okay so this is the deck system uh, again the benefits of this is it's waterproof uh, it's also you can supposedly put on the same amount of weight on top of this that you would put on your truck bed and it's supposed to be able to withstand that and not damage uh, I don't ever load that much weight into my truck I might go get sheets of drywall or plywood or something like that but uh, I haven't tested that out so I couldn't tell you but I do know it's it's extremely uh, durable I haven't had any problems with weather but again I have the hard top uh, trifold soft top on top of mine typically it's closed all the time but I have been in the rain with my top folded back and I didn't have any issue with water getting in now the price tag on this they're expensive they're over a thousand dollars uh, the last truck I had I built my own drawers and they worked well uh, but whenever I bought this truck I bought it it had lower miles I knew I was gonna have it for a while so I thought I'd just make the investment in this system and I'm glad that I did and I'm gonna show you why because it, it's it's really it's really great in my opinion uh, you have these things here in every corner because that's where the wheel wells are uh, that you can store things in I keep ratchet straps in here let me see I'll pull it open so you can kind of see uh, so it's got an opening right there I keep a two inch ball in the one on that side uh, back in the back I keep things that are hard to reach because I got that top up there if you didn't have that it wouldn't be a big deal but I keep jumper cables and this stuff that I shouldn't really need all that often but in these drawers you can store a lot of things and let me show you before I get into those the main reason why I like this duck deck system. If I shut my tailgate and my tailgate is locked, no one could possibly open these drawers and get into my tools. I mean, they would have to do a lot of work to get in to be able to steal my tools. So security wise, that's the big thing for me that I liked about this deck system because the weather didn't bother me as much because like I said, I've got a top, but it would be extremely hard for somebody to get into this system to get my tools out uh, this was in my bed of my truck before this isn't part of it uh, the top of it looks like that I just keep this on there for one it keeps stuff from sliding as much and if I've got something back there in the back and I can't reach it I can grab this and pull it out and then just push it back in so that's why I have that on there so open up this drawer on this side and I, I just want to show you how much stuff you can fit in these drawers so on this side I have some tire plugs and things in there this didn't come with it I had to buy this but uh, I just store ratchet straps uh, different things in there and it, it might be a hard angle for me to get to some of this so hopefully you guys can see uh, this is the Bosch 12 volt planer Let's see if I can get in here and, and again I'm not gonna go crazy on explaining tools or anything I mostly want you to see the load out of this but there's the Bosch 12 volt planer keep that in there that again these are tools that I don't maybe need every day but if I if I need them I like to have them I don't want to keep them at my house and then need them somewhere where I'm working or I don't want to keep them at work and need them at my house so this gives me the ability to have these kind of tools at every place I go and not have to worry about taking up so much room in my truck uh, here's the Bosch angle finder digital angle finder uh, again this is just one drawer and we, it's going to seem like it goes on forever so here's the m12 hammer drill and the bits that go with that and some grease and what i try to do is i try to keep the attachments or the bits for whatever tool it is in the same bag with it and that that keeps me from having to store it somewhere else uh, another milwaukee m12 you're going to find that that's primarily what I roll with. Uh, M12 pin nailer. So I keep that in there. Really handy to have at times. And I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. It's hard to unzip bags with one hand and hold a camera in the other. So here I have the M12 hacksaw 
fuel and the M12 fuel oscillating tool. I keep the oscillating blades in here, sawzall blades there. So there's another tool in there. So it's gonna keep it's gonna keep stacking up over here. You'll see how much you can fit in here. And again, these are all things that I'm able to keep with me, keep out of the weather. And then also it doesn't, it's not in my way. Uh, M1238 Stubby. I keep this in here primarily for if I have a tire issue or if I'm driving down the road and I see someone else that has a tire issue, uh, I'm able to help them out pretty easy. They, you, you can't imagine how appreciative someone is if you pull off to the side of the road and they're sitting there with that uh, tire rod thing that comes in your in your own vehicle trying to loosen those lug nuts and you pull up with this and say here let me help you out uh, they really appreciate it so then now we get into some bags i have here pretty sure it's the m12 circular saw the little 5 8 deal it's a it's a good saw and it's so light i i use this all the time and i really like it i'm gonna throw all these up on the top so you'll get a better view of exactly how many tools it is that fits in just one and this is just one drawer uh, the amount of stuff that you can fit and then the next bag that I pull out it's the M12 bandsaw the regular one I uh, haven't bought the fuel yet I don't know if I will because I don't really need the more cut the only thing I primarily use this for is conduit uh, and things like that and then I also have the copper uh, cutter uh, so both of those are kind of to cut copper con or copper piping or conduit and you can actually you can cut some conduit with this uh, it works but sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't so I keep those in there Again, tools I don't need all the time, but whenever I do need them, I'm glad to have them. Somebody just drove by in an extremely large or loud truck. Uh, here in this bag, uh, M12 jigsaw. And I and uh, don't use it that often, but if sometimes you need it, now I've got it. So there's another tool. And then you, you can see it continues to go back in there. I don't know that I can get that turned without being horrendous for you. Let's see what I got. Uh, I've got another bag back in there. And that's one that's, the farther back you go, you can get to it still fairly easy. It's not bad, you have to walk to the side. And then in this bag, I got the M18 uh, Brad Nailer. And I keep the, the nails in there with it. So all these tools here fit in one drawer. And I'm able to keep those protected from the weather, secure from a theft, and I've got them with me. And they're not, take, they're not taking up room in my bed. I can still put anything on the top of this that I want to. Over here in this other drawer, I keep a, a small Milwaukee M12 light. I keep the M12 blower. Uh, this is okay. I just got it not too long ago when it came out. It works for its purpose. I mean, don't expect to be blowing leaves or anything crazy like that with it. Uh, and then I have the M12 inflator. That's really nice, really handy. Again, if I see somebody on the side of the road uh, and they need their air, their tire pumped up, or if I need it, and you know, I've got it there handy. It works great. And then here, this is a decked box. It fits specifically for these drawers. I bought one of these. This, this doesn't come with it either. Uh, it's got different things on it for measurements. It's got some things to be able to measure the bolt and screw diameters on the top. I don't use that. Uh, this is basically my catch-all of things that don't really have a good place. And, and again, I'm not going to go crazy going through this, but these are tools like there, there's the rigid... Uh, tool for all your uh, base instead of using a basin wrench uh, for all everything on a sink you can use that for that or a tub uh, self-tapping bits 
This is the sanding pads and the sanders for my oscillating tool, bolt extractor, air shim, uh, on and on. I'm not going to spend the time to, to dig through that, but uh, you can keep a lot of stuff in that. And then it keeps it from just rattling around a lot of loose stuff. So that's, that's basically my catch-all for my drawers. And then back in the back, I keep extra clothes, uh, extra shoes. There's a shovel. There's the jack. That's up there. That's where I keep my MCT and my TP4B. That was right there. So I took that out and just put that back here. And then I have this extra space in here for job specific. If I know I'm going somewhere to do something in particular, I can either A, slide this back in there and have th that stuff here. Or I, if I can fit it in there, I just throw it in there. But I always like to leave myself a little bit of space so that if I know I'm going to do, you know, flooring, I'll put some flooring specific tools, whether it's my knee pads or something like that. I'll fill it in here, shut the drawer, and I'm good to go. So that's the deck system. And again, that's my, that's my truck loadout. You can see how many tools you can fit in this deck system. And again, none of that is on the spot on my bed to where that's all clear. I can put whatever I want to in there. If I go to pick up supplies, whether it's drywall, plywood, flooring, uh, conduit, electrical wire, whatever it is, I don't have to move my tools around and find room to be able to fit that in the bed of my truck. So that's my truck loadout. Again, I do facilities maintenance, but I also work where I have easy access to supplies to be able to refill the small amounts that I hold in those slim organizers or the real specialty tools like a SDS max drill or you know I have uh, roto rooter like augers uh, air snake I have all sorts of specialty tools that are pretty good size that I don't need them on a daily basis these are tools that I might would run into something where I need to grab these quickly and use them the other kind of tools I just keep in either my garage or my office at work and I access those when I need them they're not far from me so that works out for me I know some people if you are a if you're a plumber who does service work or an electrician you know you've got to have a lot of different things with you at all times so you're not constantly running to the store or back to your office uh, because you might be you know 45 minutes away from that and that's never the case for me so this works out well for me uh, I hope this was interesting to you. I hope it shows you something. Hopefully it showed you. Maybe you've been on the fence of this deck system. It gives you a better idea of how useful it is. Uh, it gives you some ideas of maybe how you can fit out your truck to best suit your needs. Let me know if you like this video by liking it. Uh, comment and let me know what you think about it. Let me, let me know if you, especially if you see something that you think, hey, you could do this and it would be better. I always love that. I'm not above thinking that I've got this all figured out. Uh, there's plenty of people out there that have really good ideas that I'd be glad to listen to because I'm always looking for ways to improve the way that I do things. So make sure that you like and subscribe this video. Again, here in the upcoming future, I'm probably going to be doing an MCT loadout. Uh, also, I will be changing out the rotors and brakes on my wife's car. That's not going to be a video that you're going to typically find on this channel, me doing auto mechanic type work. But I might video that and let you all see how that's done if it's something that you're interested in. Let me know by commenting below and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Have a blessed day.